good afternoon and welcome. I am Erica Crawley, your Franklin County Commissioner and Board President to the Board of Commissioners, and I am honored to serve as your chairperson for this year's combined charitable campaign, and I am looking forward to another successful season of giving. Thank you for being here to help us kick off the 2022 Franklin County Combined Charitable Campaign. Our theme this year is Franklin County Cares. We really do. And everything that we do is reflected in the work that we do for every resident every day right here in Franklin County. But it takes all of us working together to make this campaign a success. And we are incredibly fortunate to have some important guests with us today that play an active role in the success of this campaign. First, allow me to introduce and invite to the podium our labor co-chair, Tony Schroth. Tony comes to us from Ask Me Ohio Council 8 AFL-CIO. We are delighted to work with him in his role as staff representative here at the county. Thank you for joining us today, Tony. Good afternoon, Franklin County. I'm so excited to be here and serve as the labor chair for this year's combined charitable campaign. My name is Tony Schroth, and I'm a staff representative for AFSME Ohio Council 8. We represent about 500 hardworking employees here at Franklin County. One reason I'm so excited to serve in this role today is that AFSME members are so integral to the community, and it's not just what we do at work. We're coaches, pastors, volunteers, you name it, there's an AFSME member somewhere doing it. So I won't spend my time talking about how important supporting the community is, because we are the community. But as a union member, I do want to talk about collective action, because that's what the combined charitable campaign is all about. To make my point, well, two points really, I brought my donation pledge with me today. Uh, so first, I have to put my money where my mouth is. I don't think I could sleep tonight if I got up here and asked you county workers to donate your hard-earned wages without me doing it first. So. Now that my conscience is clean, <laughs> now, that, now that my conscience is clean, let's talk about collective action. This campaign has raised over seven million dollars over the year, over the years. Now my, my pledge sheet, I don't know about yours, but my pledge sheet does not have a very big number on it. Uh, please don't mistake me for a wealthy philanthropist. <laughs> the beautiful thing about collective action is no single one of us has to carry all of the burden. A bunch of smaller donations, just like this one, will add up to something much larger. So AFSME is excited to join together with Franklin County on this campaign. I'm excited to be the guy that gets to say that, and I can't wait to accomplish this year's goal by using the power of collective action. Thank you. Thank you for that message, Tony. Next, I'd like to welcome our honorary co-chair to Franklin County. I'm always inspired by strong and driven women in leadership, and they don't come more capable than our next guest. The founder and chief creative officer, but I'm gonna to add to that, creative genius to her title, of Jenny Splendid Ice Creams, Jenny Britton. Yeah. Welcome, Jenny, and thank you for being with us today. Please share your remarks with us. Hi everyone, it's great to be with you. It's certainly a privilege to serve with you, Commissioner Crawley and Labor Chair Schroth, on this important campaign. And while we are the featured co-chairs, the real heroes of this year's combined charitable, charitable campaign are each and every one of the Franklin County employees who give so generously and thoughtfully to selected organizations, nonprofits, and service groups. It is my distinct honor to represent this significant fundraising event. Your collective contributions are impactful. Thank you for allowing me to serve with you in this year's campaign. There are over 250 charities in this campaign this year, and I encourage you to find one that's important to you. I can speak from personal experience that these organizations truly help people. I was raised by a single mom who struggled. One parking ticket meant that she could not get a bank account for years. She worked hard 
She was resilient and resourceful. She did her best, but it's never enough. Once you get underwater, it's nearly impossible to get back out. I will never forget how challenging her life was, and I will always throw my support around amazing women like her. Eventually, she did get back on her feet, in part because of wonderful community services right here in Franklin County. I love to volunteer at St. Stephen's, which is a part of the Mid-Ohio Food Collective. It's been very healing for me to work with the team there packing food boxes, especially when the need was really high during the pandemic. And my mother recently told me that she used their medical services and other services for, her baby, for my baby brother uh, right there at St. Stephen's. And it was heartwarming for me to learn that an organization that I love played such an important role for my own family. And when I was living on a shoestring, and I mean a shoestring, um, in the early days slash decade of uh, forming my company, I always knew that the Mid-Ohio Food Collective can do a lot with every dollar I give. So even when I had little to give, I knew that I was making an impact with just $10. And when I was a young woman, I was on my own pretty early in life. Planned Parenthood helped me understand, protect, and care for my reproductive health as I put myself through school and started my company. I always wonder what would have happened to me without their guidance and support. I know that Jenny's would not exist without reproductive freedom and without Planned Parenthood. Speaking of Jenny's, we know the value of giving back. As a community-spirited company, we know that the work we do has an impact. But even more than that, we as humans learn and expand as we do it. I truly love to be con connected to the communities that we serve, and it gives us hope that should we ever need it, our community will be there for us too. And we've certainly benefited from that as well. I am so proud to help kick off this wonderful campaign and serve as the honorary chair. We know that a strong team can do amazing things and that with that strength comes the ability to make a difference in people's lives and in our community. So please join the team and support the 2022 campaign and show just how much Franklin County cares. Thank you all so much. Thank you. Thank you, Jenny. I'm honored to share the stage with you both. I wanna take this opportunity to commend each and every employee that already makes a difference in our community. And this is yet another way that we can help those in need. Last year, your donations surpassed a goal of $266,000. And that is amazing. You should all give yourselves a round of applause. This year, I hope you will donate to the charity of your choice to help us reach our goal of $270,000. There are more than 250 charities to choose from in this year's campaign, and we're lucky enough to have some of them with us today to share a little more about their organizations. Stephanie Harris is Senior Vice President of Resource Development for the United Way of Central Ohio. Welcome, Stephanie, to the podium. Thank you, everyone, and thank you for your tremendous generosity over the years. Since 1996, employees of the county have donated more than $267 million. Last year, $269,000 over your goal. And this year, your goal of $270,000 is tremendous. United Way of Central Ohio is one of the beneficiaries of that generosity. I'm an east side girl, east side from Columbus, Ohio. Um, I learned about generosity from my mother and my grandmother. Our family was still, for the most part, living in West Virginia and North Carolina. And every year, my grandmother would pack up things, some of our clothes that my brother and I had outgrown, some other things, and send back to our family in, in the south. 
That generosity continued. It continued when my mother began her nursing career. It continued when my dad was a union steward for Clark Gray Vault. We have experienced this generosity from people and to people all of our lives. Working at United Way is a tremendous opportunity because I see the wonderful work that so many wonderful nonprofits are doing. You'll see many of our nonprofits here. My husband and I volunteer on a regular basis with Life Care Alliance delivering meals on wheels, and we've done that for the past probably 10 years. And I was a beneficiary of that. When I was in school, I was taking care of my grandmother. And so Meals on Wheels came to our house every day to provide her with lunch when I wasn't there. So this is a way for us to give back. United Way of Central Ohio helps to fund Life Care Alliance. It helps to fund so many organizations. You'll see uh, Columbus Early Learning Centers, Early Childhood Education Centers. You'll see the Hardy Center, which is in Linden, another United Way organization. So when you're contributing to United Way, you're contributing to your neighbors. You're contributing to your family. You're contributing to organizations that are everywhere in our community. And we thank you so much for your generosity, for everything you've done, for all of the times you've volunteered, for all of the, the services that you've provided every day in your lives working for the county in your generosity to all of us and especially to United Way. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Stephanie. On behalf of our co-chairs, Tony and Jenny, our local foundations and charities, we thank you again for your commitment to this worthy campaign. Together, I know we can make a difference and show our community just how much Franklin County cares. Thank you to everyone, and remember to stop by the many charities with us today before you head back to work. And don't forget to donate. Thank you.